Welcome to Belgrade and Serbia. <laughs> What is up, Wayfam? Good morning from Belgrade. We left our trip to sleep hospital this morning. Great night's sleep, and today we are going on a walking tour. Quick stop to get some coffee, though. And this place is super cool. There's always tons of people here, and they have cigars that you can order right at the bar. Right in Republic Square. All right, so we meet at the giant horseman statue. It's a big pleasure to see you all here coming. My name is Jelko, my surname Petrovic. Petrovic is the most common Serbian surname. This is the National Museum, one of the oldest cultural institutions in Serbia, more than 180 years old institution. This is the monument to Prince Mihailo Obrenovic, the monument which was proclaimed as the most important monument to Serbia in the 19th century. So who was Prince Mihailo then? Prince Mihailo was the son of Prince Miloš and Prince Miloš, his father, was the founder of Serbian royal family Obrenović. I hope you guys saw that on the statue. There's a little crest. Um, it's got like a cross with the three C symbols. And I'll see if I can find it somewhere else on the tour, but I just learned that that's basically a symbol of Serbian nationalism. I can't remember because of course it's in Serbian, but it represents like uh, a national slogan. Uh, only Serbs can like pres preserve Serb something. Look it up, it's really cool. I'll try and link it below if I find it. Uh, we saw all over the Balkans as sort of a symbol of nationalism as well, of course, used more during the wars. This tour is already getting up to an awesome start. Here is the main Bohemian area. Beer is one of the most popular drinks in our country. Can you pronounce? Kafana? Kafana. Uh, very easy. So what's Kafana? Kafana is really one of the first words that every Serbian will teach you here. And it's their Serbian traditional place. Kafana is one big mix of a pub, bar, cafe, restaurant, even sometimes offices are also there. So one company, one place. And what makes Kafana different than every other place in the city to have a fun? It's a live Serbian traditional music. We think so far. This is an amazing area. I never would have found it unless we did this tour. Yeah. So cool. The guy that I was talking to, he's from Israel, and another guy's from California. It's just so fun to do tours with people from around the world, enjoying one place together. In okay. honor and tradition of the Bohemian culture and <laughs> Bohemian's so most famous poet, uh, we're going to have some traditional plum over, brandy rakia. Yeah, rakia is mostly 40% of alcohol. This one is not. This is a. Uh, this is around the 33 something like that so it's a strong but it's also sweet in the same time <laughs> For the health person, yeah, for the worldwide uh, media. Huh? <laughs> Our tour guide's grandfather made this. Before we drink now, I will teach you how to uh, say cheers and I will tell you how to drink rakia. So most of the people in Serbia will tell you to drink rakia slowly. Živeli means a long live long life exactly. So živeli, long live long life. Okay, now finally, živeli and welcome to Serbia. Živeli. It does, it has a sweet plum flavor and also honey flavors. It's really good. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little strong for me. 33%. Yeah, yeah, that's strong. I usually like fruity drinks, they're like 2%. Cheers. Belgrade was the only one European city which was bombed by two opposite sides on purpose during World War II. This building behind me is over 150 years old. And we failed to mention it before, but the city has tons of architecture throughout many of the different eras. And part of that is because this city has been destroyed, has been bombed so many times, both during World War I and II. That building alone survived World War II and is still in use. The outside looks horrible, but the inside is still pretty decent. I find that so interesting that this city has been destroyed like 40 times. That's ridiculous. Our guide was saying that's part of the reason why it's so enjoyable to be in during peacetime because the people know what it's like to have gone through hard times. So in times like now, when it's peaceful, the city is relaxed, comfortable, enjoyable, friendly. All these things that we've come to appreciate about Belgrade. 
this is not P, this is R or R, very huh? strong. So where we are now, we are in Serbia. Before. What we drank, Rakia. What we drive sometimes, Harley Davidson. Rn, 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 rn. Take a look at this one. This is how my name begins. Ž Željko, Ž Živeli. Same sign at the beginning. This building behind me is 250 year old Austro-Hungarian building. It's a language um, museum right now. But I just want to tell you guys that Croatian, Montenegrin, Serbian, Serbian Bosnian. Bosnian, yeah, all the same language. For the last two months, we've been speaking the same language. Now, if kind you ask, of. If you ask a Serbian or Bosnian, they'll say it in different languages, but if you ask yeah. them further, they'll admit, okay, it's basically the exact same thing. Just with a different little bit of dialect. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. The Belgrade Fortress. So guys, uh, Belgrade, uh, definitely, uh, if you look at the history and dates, are uh, really one of the oldest European cities. Tape Nation. Oh, one fact I wanted to share with you guys real quick. This is the Danube and the Sava. It's the confluence of the two rivers. And something really cool here in this part of Belgrade, we are in the Balkans. New Belgrade is the beginning of Central Europe. Here we are in the Balkans, Central Europe is just across the river, same city. But the Danube is coming to Belgrade from the north, and then the Danube is splitting around the island. Who wants to be a billionaire? Five hundred billion dollars. We're rich! And uh, that <laughs> so is, is what hyperinflation will do to your money. It's crazy. You can maybe buy a loaf of bread with that. Well, not for real. Not back anymore. in the day. <laughs> 20, only 20 years ago. So you, 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 it's you insane. Like so we finished the free walking tour here in front of the oldest elementary school in Belgrade, where the first basketball game was played before it became super, super popular in Serbia. Gnieko. Zeko, yeah. uh, our tour guide does an amazing, amazing job. Belgrade walking tours, come check it out. Why does someone need to come visit Belgrade? What's so special about Belgrade? Firstly, thank you for the nice words about the walking tours in Belgrade, especially very big city, almost two million people. More than 2,000 years of the history, a Byzantine, Roman, Turkish, Serbian, Austro-Hungarian, but also very affordable prices. In the restaurant for a few euros, you can have a really nice traditional food. Nightlife is one of the first things in the city, but also so many so much about a culture, friendly people, English is a very a popular a language here and of course a very alive city, you know, capital yeah. of Serbia and really the place to be. Last year's tourism is growing so it's also good to be here because in 10 years will be different so now it's still very local feeling and you can really feel that you travel through the new destination. What he said. <laughs> you are welcome all. Okay, guys. We arrived now back at our hostel, trip and sleep. Once again, thanks to them for letting us stay here. This has been amazing. Ashley, what'd you think of the tour? Tour was so good. We have spent the last couple days shopping and just hanging out at the fortress and um, cafes. And it was just really cool to see other parts of the city that we haven't learned about yet. There were actually some parts we discovered on the tour, like the Bohemian area that I had no idea existed. And now I definitely want to go check that out. I really want to see live music there before yeah. we go. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. All right. The plan. So tomorrow we're actually going to another city so that you'll see that in the video and then the next day we're actually finally going to give you like a hostel tour and maybe I'll get my beard cut. We'll see. No Shave November is still going strong. Well. Well. <laughs> Alright, Wayfan, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us again today. I hope we encourage you to get there and travel today even. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao.